Hey guys, JH. Welcome to the practice team. It's a beautiful practice team today. Okay, just uh, today I just want to. Uh, should get dressed before I get on, shouldn't I? What I want to do, guys, is uh, is just make a couple of adjustments or uh, announcement adjustments to a couple of the things that we've been doing. Now the quick ignition process, which is essentially, and get going, you can modify that. That suits a certain type of physiology and a certain type of temperament. It wouldn't teach, wouldn't suit a very deliberate person. So the modification is, guys, that you can, you can, you can be a little bit more. Um, deliberate here and even when you get in here you can just then get going you don't have to jump into it what I found is that I I was actually overdoing it myself I was actually getting in there and the ignition was the, the the firing sequence was way too jerky and severe and I was getting a lot of um, tempo disruption so Yeah, we, we need to be a little bit more deliberate with that. And what will help you guys to be a bit more deliberate is a thing I call my winding down process for my winding up process. And by that I mean once I get hold of the club here guys, I'm in, I'm in a state of winding down all the tension in my body and all the anxiety that I feel musculatory from, from a musculature point of view. I just want to turn my body into a wet noodle, really soft wet noodle, and, and just completely devoid myself of any tension or anxiety, and just let it start to flow from the top of my head down through my neck, out my shoulders, down my arms, fingertips, and it just dissipates, it goes away. Now what will help you do that is the way that you grip the golf club. Now I've had over the years a huge... Um, amount of variations in the way that you can hang on to the golf club from a super vice grip where Mo Norman where you're crushing the club with your left hand to the Lee Como um, iteration where he crushes it with his right hand with his trail hand and, and I've done both I've, I've crushed it with both hands but I think generally if you want the golf club to swing and set itself as, as, as a result of pure momentum, then you can't have that much tension in your golf swing, in your hands, in your wrists. You really can't. Well, I can't anyway. And I found that out. So what I'm doing in that, in that winding down process, guys, where I'm letting all that tension and anxiety go out of the golf swing, I'm winding down the pressure levels in my grip to zero to minus. To the, to the point where it's just, the club is almost falling out of my hands. And to use the Count Yogi description, where he said he never gripped the golf club, he merely touched it. He merely touched it. Now if you conjure up the thought of touching the golf club as opposed to gripping it, as soon as you say grip, that's a different neural message as opposed to touch. If you think touch, I just want to touch, I just want to touch the golf club or touch the grip. Immediately, I don't feel any anxiety in my hands. So, so it's, it's a way of, of programming the brain to, to send the right messages to the central nervous system relative to passing that on to the, to the muscle fibres and getting them in a state of relaxation. And, and I've gone, I guess on a scale of 1 to 10 guys, I'm down to a 0 or what I feel is 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 a minus zero or what I call even an escape velocity potential by that I mean I'm holding it so loosely that the club feels like it might come out of my hands but the extraordinary thing that happens in a golf swing guys is that no matter how loose that grip is on the backswing no matter how loose it is on the backswing immediately we start down and we start applying radial inertia and speed and velocity to the golf swing, um, instinctively the brain will send a message to the hands 
to apply a grip pressure that will can stop the club from escaping. It'll be a really soft zero minus two here to maybe just a two here. So you go four points in the difference, but that'll be enough to hang on to the golf club. Because at the end of the day, you can actually swing the club very quickly. Look at that. And, and there's no, I, I've got really no feeling of hanging on to the golf club with a death grip of any, any description, guys. So the two points there are that we can make our ignition process slower uh, and more deliberate and not as, as um, frenetic when we get over the ball. We, we don't have to, have to come in here and then wham it away like that. The other thing is if you want to use the shoulder sling going back, you've got to, you've got to loosen up all that shoulder and all that mass that you're going to sling. You've got to have it soft. Very hard to get mass in sling that mass if it's resisting through tension. So, so basically the, the whole um, message in this video is that we just want to completely bleed all the tension and anxiety out of our muscles and our mind and our thinking. And for me guys I'm finding that with the really soft grip as I go back here I'm starting to actually get this just automatic paintbrush load here uh, the yogi load now he did it you know quite briskly but it was it was a full brisk i mean it was a long goal swing so it had beautiful um, motion and timing and cadence in that length of his goal swing because it was a very long goal swing my goal swing is shorter so it has a propensity anyway and for anyone that has a short goal swing it will have a propensity to get short and jerky and quick so the way you eliminate that guy is take the tension out of the golf swing, even though you, and you'll be amazed at how much more range of motion you get in the golf swing because the muscles are softer. So it's, um, I, I'm, I'm basically trying to get in here and then just take it away here guys, feel the load and then just let it happen. Now the ignition move will be <clears throat> pretty much a standard ignition move here. I'll come in, I'll have a bit of time over the ball and then I'll hit it. But, but it's, it's fantastic to have it's fantastic to have the thought process now of soft, soft, soft and particularly in the grip. Touching the grip. Just touching the golf club. I can feel now that my <clears throat> everything from my fingertips right up to my shoulder here, my neck. Because when we get tense in the golf course, guys, we'll always tense up here. And that, and that just has a, has a bleed on tension uh, factor. So we'll just come in here with a very, 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 very soft grip, almost like it's going to, to escape here. Oh, and the other thing, guys, when you're setting up over the ball, feel heavy. Feel that all this mass that you've got is wanting to, to just be a victim to gravity. Don't, don't fight gravity. When you get over the golf ball, just let yourself sit into gravity. Just let yourself sit into it. Now if I get in that position there, which Johnny Miller used to call you know, his, his state of readiness and his vertical uh, springiness where he felt that he could jump straight up in the air, he was just in this position here. Now if you get in that position there guys, and I feel a little bit knock kneed and just here, but I'm balanced and I'm set and I'm soft. But if you get over the ball and you've got, you know, and, and you're really rigid and, you, you know, and, and you're just not balanced correctly and you're not letting, you know, the, this, this mass of the, of the buttocks and the thighs and, and all that portion of the body, if you don't let that actually hang and, and just let it go, go down let it feel like it's just going to try and get down on the ground it's just going to fall down there so everything here is a is an exercise in just letting everything just see that guy see that there that's gravity i think the speed of gravity is about 36 feet a second 36.5 feet a second that's gravity bobby jones's swing was uh, calculated at about 37 feet 
a second on the down swing, which meant he just let gravity start his golf swing and control it and, and activate it and motivate it in the down swing. He never applied anything to it. There was no add in his down swing. It was basically just... Yeah, so I, I don't know what the exact uh, equation is or calculation is. 36.5 feet per second. Um, yeah, but I mean, I mean, that's it, guys. That's If you just do that. I mean, that actually moves the arms quite quickly. And really, as soon as I add momentum to that, I feel everything t tense up. Whereas here, and the good thing about a gravity start to the golf swing with the componentry gravity start is that it will actually keep accelerating. But if you start with a quick movement here, I forget who it was. It might have been Tommy Armour. He said, you're only allocated one fast move in the golf swing. Only one. So you might as well use it where it's best served, and that's at impact. If you use it on the backswing, you're not going to use it on the downswing at impact. So just prepare yourself for one fast movement or one maximum quickness of the golf club, which is at the golf ball. We don't want it in the backswing. All right. I should be relaxed after that. It's almost like a, a meditation lesson that I've had there. Okay, what do we got here? We've got six iron here, guys. In here. Now guys, not bad for the first shot of the day. Still in the air, 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 still in the air. And not only was it was it strong and long. Okay. That certainly doesn't look like what I was preaching there, but there's no and of course, you know, first hit of the day, there's always a you know, a stiffness and a a propensity to but look that's dead flush in the centre. The ground's very wet here today, guys. It's raining last night. Yeah, so I'm gonna just try and really Go back in, feel the paintbrush. That's what I want to feel. Now sit into it. Now they're just two big pieces of spaghetti or macaroni, wet macaroni or wet noodles. That's what they feel like. Now they're two great shots. I mean, they're just perfect, perfect impact, and and they're and they're what I by normal normally term a stiffy, which is the early swings that you have when you're not warmed up. But that felt a little bit stiff, but I bet it didn't look that stiff. It just felt fantastic, and, and it's this guys. It's just take it back here with this really soft grip, pull it. Now incorporating, if you want to incorporate the shoulder sling in that, then the shoulder sling has got to be a noodle sling. It's got to be a very, very soft noodle, noodle sling. Now it'll be a bit quicker because that, that shoulder sling does put a lot of load on the golf club early. It, it, does, it does do that. No wind here today guys and, and of course the ball just goes like a laser because nothing has any effect on it. Just so unusual in the JH practice tee. I had one of the guys on the forum who uh, he was looking at, uh, or on my channel, in the post uh, comment section and he was saying that he was looking at one of the videos I did a, a week ago where I had the, you know, the 50 kilometre an hour winds and I was saying it was a wind tunnel and he apparently works on ships off the coast of uh, Scotland around Orkney I don't know where that is but he mentioned Orkney and he said I was watching your video here on YouTube Judge on the ship and he said we're in a force 10 gale here I don't know what a force 10 gale is guys it was probably a hundred and hundred mile an hour plus winds wouldn't it that wouldn't be pleasant out there in a in a, in a ship in the ocean wow yeah so there, there's someone that should be used to the effects of the wind. Force 10 gale, he said. 
in Orkney, in the Orkney Seas or off the coast of Orkney or somewhere. Yeah. So that was interesting. It wouldn't be any good for me, I think I'd get seasick. When I look at those big massive ships on YouTube going up and down where they show those storms and they're 50, 60 foot waves, I mean I almost get seasick watching the YouTube. So I can imagine what it'd be like uh, in, uh, in actuality. Okay, here we go guys. So we're going to just sling it back. got so much velocity on the shot. See with no wind I'm getting true distance and that is really five iron distance with that six iron. That's just five iron distance. That really is exploding. You know when I said the other day I get a bit of an explosion? That's an explosion. Now that's not as slow as I've preached in the um, introduction in the video. It's, it's not that. But it feels like that, and the, and the grip feels very soft, and I'm getting very much a, a negative load, positive, positive load. So guys, there's not much else to tell you, but just use as a wind down, and I didn't explain before, the wind down before you wind up. So we're winding down all the tension for the winding up of our golf swing. But once we start to wind up in the golf swing, have the same tension ratio in your body when you start to wind up as you did preparatory to winding up because invariably we'll get over the ball we'll be nice and relaxed then it's back swinging so okay I've got to get this club and all the tension comes in Sam Sneed said to me that when he was really hitting it well he felt that his downswing was slower than his backswing and he said that's all I he said I only ever worked on tempo and rhythm anyway that's all he ever worked on after he found his swing at like 22 years old. He said, I never worked on anything else after that because I had it. I just worked on tempo and rhythm. And he said, I found that you know, my best, very best ball striking was when I felt, felt, uh, in inverted commas, the word felt, uh, the club was, was going slower on the downswing. That meant that there was no impulse to hit the golf ball, guys. That, 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 that was essentially this. Now, I just did that. And, and there's no reason, theoretically, uh, that I can't do that. But the reason I can't do that in a golf swing is I don't have a program for that. If I did maybe 500 of those as, as practice swings here, Now guys, you know the other day when I said that when you get the shoulder sling back and you get that negative load, you just hang on to the club and go for a ride. That, that club was taking me for a ride. There was a lot of, probably 10 mile an hour more club head speed in that golf swing than my normal golf swing. Clearly, it's longer and it's more uninhibited. So it has more relaxation in it, less tension in the muscles, so everything is, is loading better and the club is moving quicker. Now, I can do that physically. But I can't do it in the golf swing yet because I don't have a program for it. I, I, I've, got a, I've got a sort of <laughs> uh, a mini program to do that there without hitting a golf ball. But I haven't got a program for hitting a golf ball. That's, that's a little complicated from a, a neurological programming point of view, but I can assure you that's exactly what happens here. It's an entirely different program to swing without the golf ball as opposed to swinging with one with the golf ball. And there's a lot of overlay in my neural circuitry and programs uh, from millions of shots gone by that will override in actuality in, 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 the, in, the, in the process of actually hitting a golf ball. All those millions of other shots with the short swing and the quickness will override what I want to do uh, to replicate what I did in that practice swing. So okay guys, so, so that, that's the basic story here. Just wind down, get over here, wind down, wind down. Just back that grip pressure down, so I've got a five here. I'm going to go for a four, three, two. Oh, I'm just touching, touching, touching. Oh, just holding the club. It feels like it's going to fall out of my hands. That's what you want to do. 
just try it guys for all you guys that are jittery uh, just try that I mean I'm, I'm a jittery I'm an absolute jittery but I have had periods in the last couple of days where I've just had you know 10 minutes where I'm just feel like I'm in a I'm, I'm in just a softness bubble and it just ripped the golf ball anyway guys so that's what it is it's uh, it's winding down before you wind up and the ignition move you don't have to be you don't have to get you don't have to get in here and guys when you're doing this when you're doing your setup procedure here the slower you can do that the slower you'll take it away if you come in here and it's a it's a quick quick I prob I can absolutely guarantee that the brain is picking up that quickness and it'll want to get into a quickness mode in the backswing so if you can come in and start programming the 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 rhythm or the tempo of the swing or the cadence ratio that you want come in here with a soft one a soft one a soft one and then take it away soft soft softer go okay guys just a few points and I think they they're valid if the uh, I've just got a tractor over here and they just want to do a bit of work here so I don't know how long they're going to take and it might be noisy but if they don't take too long I'll come back and actually hit a bunch of shots with that cadence 